Hey guys, let's see, bringing you another video. Welcome back to Unranked to Diamond AD Carry uh, Edition. This might be the last game of today. Um, and so far, we have won every single game. Um, every single game today. So it's gone very well. Uh, we're playing Ash AD Carry with another Milio. <sighs> um, this person, Sleepy Catter, I banned. I, I banned Katarina and I did this game and she got banned out. Again, I as I've always said, statistically, Katarina is the best thing to ban if you want to ban out a main or a one trick because she's the most popular champion to main or one trick. So I'm just saying, like, you know, I don't like the champion, but it's also an effective ban to try and get a one trick off their champion. Statistically, it makes sense. Um, so it's it's basically two one tricks dueling with each other by the look of it. A person has Belveth in their name and a person's got Katarina in their name and their duo. I've always found that weird. A lot of one tricks do duo queue together. Um, unfortunately, we're full AD again. Um, I don't know what the hell has happened today. It's just been full AD team comps on my team and Milio's nearly every game. Like, what? What is going on? I don't see Renata very much. So, Kled should do well in top. Bot lane should be my gold. Bot lane should be relatively even. Mid lane, eh, it could go either way. It could be a stomp. Boom. She does not know that ward is there. What? That was a mistake by Tristana. They're not in lane phase. Oh, we're not leashing. I don't think he'll mind. Oh my god, they didn't go back. We've got to be careful of getting level 2'd by Belveth. Maybe Belveth has promised, like, maybe she pinged, I'll do red, then come bot and try to help you. That's my only thought process of why they wouldn't go back. They both flashed as well, yeah. They should have gone back. I know it would have really hurt them, but now that they, they didn't go back at level one, and now I get a double kill first blood. Like, their lane is just over. It's where, like, sometimes sucking in, like, yes, you made a mistake from that level one, but not just going back. They've made it... So oh, I didn't go for the cannon. Oh, I got the cannon. Oh, I'm smurfing. Um, they've just made it so much worse. Didn't even lose the cannon minion. Oof. What do I think of Ash? I mean, she's one of the classics. Hey, Fraxton. She's one of the classics, you know. She should have gone in the Aurelia then. Like, if she queued a couple minions while she was stunned, got the health, went for the Q Ignite, they might have traded. Quite bad for an Aurelia to die that early just to an Ari, by the way. The bow is my That's way. not great. Trista's automatically pushing it. She should not be doing that. Bad by Milio.
Emilio got a little bit cocky then, unfortunately for us. Okay, and then the enemy team kind of threw that hole away. Cool. What is going on? See, I think Milio got a little bit cocky. But then the enemy team did the exact same thing. What a weird game. 14 CS Scion. Obviously, I'm incredibly happy with how today's gone. Hopefully, you've all enjoyed the AD carry content. Um, it is one of those days that obviously we're doing Unranked to Diamond. It's a Thursday. It's my normal recording day for Unranked to Diamond anyway. Um, but it's like, damn, six, hopefully a seven game win streak. You, <laughs> you want that on the main account, not the Unranked to Diamond account. <laughs> oh, go on, Cled, lad. Oh, I had the damage reduction. Oh, he got one. That was good. I want to go back in a second. Not quite a lot of money. God, Aurelia died again. Aurelia should not be dying to an Ari. Milio does actually seem pretty decent with all the picks that I'd be wanting to play. I've just kind of realized, like, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to play Draven. I could, but as, as you know, I, I don't like playing champs that don't scale, like, really, really well. And Draven obviously is not played for his scaling. Um, but every champion that I play, yeah, it works really well with Milio. Let's go back. If I go back, then maybe we can look to do um, Dragon. Is that considered a hyper carry like Jinx? No. She does good DPS, but she's, she's not a hyper carry. No, we haven't got a Huzzy Goblin emote yet. Hey, Ronin. Bad. Where did Jarvan just die? Oh. Here. I literally wasn't looking where we were, thinking that Belveth was there. I was like, because uh, if on the map when someone dies, there's a skull. I was like, where the hell's the skull? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at Twitch chat when Jarvan died, so I didn't know the fight happened at our blue. For Belveth to stay to try and get that blue, though, like, what? That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come dragon now. Let's push this. Is Jin a hyper carry? Eh, not really. Like, he kind of is and kind of isn't. He's like, I'd say borderline. Let's see how close they can get. Now, the smart thing this game would not be just yeeting cross-map arrows. That would be the smart thing to do. The smart thing would be not doing cross-map arrows. That would be smart.
You fell asleep during the COG game? We've won every game today. It's fun. Getting bored. Together we are strong. Together we are. Hello, Belveth. Seems you're getting bored as well. Oh, hello. That's funny. I literally spotted Ash randomly from an arrow I was yeeting across the map. Lol. Are they looking for like a four man play bot lane or something? Not a great exhaust by Milio. Yeah, the Aurelia is making this game really hard by feeding. Don't know how you feed in lane phases, Aurelia. And she's an Aurelia main, by the way. Because of course she is. I said I shouldn't do cross map arrows because that would be the responsible thing to do. That means I'm, you know, doesn't mean I'm not going to do them. Lorefez12, 18 months of Prime. Thank you so much, my dude. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go get Kraken. That'll be a DPS increase. He's on hit Ash Fireball. There's no point doing it. You have a crit passive. You want to maximize crit. The hell exhaust was that by Renata? That was really weird. Dude, they are so wanting to make like a four five man play in bot lane. Or not five man, but four man play in bot lane. You can just tell. Like the RE's dipping down quite a lot. Okay, the bot lane's got nothing now. What oh, Aurelia died again. She's feeding way too much. Millie, oh my god, the mistakes. Oh, some of the mistakes this game have been big. I don't think this one's winnable, man. Four man bot lane. Our mid lane is just hyper feeding on a lane phase dominant champion. Oh. How the hell do you lose lane phase on Aurelia to an Ari of all things? That makes no sense. And she plays Aurelia. Oh, it's her second most played champion. 138 games. Yeah. Now we're just going to focus up. That's what we're mainly doing today. No, I'm doing Kraken because I think I have to try and carry this game. You think in these situations, except you're dead and just keep the sums? Yeah, but that was more panic. 
sometimes you're not actively thinking. It was very close of trading a kill, but... Not just waiting around the corner. Dude, how is the Aurelia losing to that? Those charms have been awful. Ooh. And Belveth just takes over. Wow. That's kind of annoying. They're so fed just from the Aurelia. Amy, because this is the problem of why this game might be a bit different than what we've had so far today. Oh, nice. Nice. That's big. Yeah, it's Aurelia then just ran mid lane and died again. <laughs> Zero five. <laughs> ah! But yeah, the difference from the games that we've had today that we've done massive comebacks is that we've had good scaling on our team. Aurelia is a lane phase champion. She has to win lane phase massively, and this one is just feeding her mind off. So it's going to be really hard for her to do really anything productive. No, it's not AP Aurelia. Chat, you just scared me then. Jesus. Don't scare me like that. We have Kled doing well, to be fair. Silence is going to split push the entire game, obviously. My left wrist is really hurting today. I was kind of thinking maybe we could go for a play. Kled can ult down, but now he's doing it. That's way too late, isn't it? No way. And guess what? The 0-5 already is bot lane. Let's go. Uh. <laughs> oh, damn it. Alright, Infinity Edge next. I mean, if the Aurelia was just a rounder being distraction, it would help me more than anything else as well. Gotcha. Oh, Milio, please. She just missed the easiest stun. Oh, thank God she got the kill, though. Uh, you remember when feeding used to be uncommon? Yeah, I'd honestly kind of agree with you there. I think the, the amount that you actually see feeding has gone up. Or at least it feels like it's gone up. Pretty much every single game now has like got one, at least one player that is just feeding their mind out. I do partially think that is not by design, but I, I honestly think part of it is because like rankings and stuff are a little bit messed up and have been for a few years. Obviously, there's been a lot of situations that people have climbed and they probably shouldn't have in some situations. And then they've they've never done like an actual reset or anything. So there are probably a lot of people in ratings that they probably shouldn't really be in. Hey Wickle. Where the hell are you going? Let 
Thank you so much, Wickle, for the 16 months. He just ran it down, I guess. What? And Aurelia's doing the same thing. Good job, guys. Fantastic there. Great. <laughs> what are they doing? I don't understand. They're going to go do Baron. They might. With Jarvan being bot lane of all places. There's nothing we can do about that. Jarvan's completely in the wrong position. <sighs> Definitely a hard game. Again, feel like we're playing pretty well. Which is good. I was going to go top, but then there'll be four of us top lane for no reason. Doing quite a lot of damage. Can't overcommit to that because I don't know where anybody is. I could overcommit to that. I was going to say Belveth could show up, but she's not here. Really? That's not good. Oh. I'm trying, dudes. I am trying to carry this one. I don't know why the Triss thought it was a good idea just to stand fighting me. I'm definitely stronger than her. Ooh. Shame I didn't kill Ari. I flashed W'd, but I got I think my minion like minions got in the way. That was so close. It is a worm that ruins lives and murders when should you go Navori 1 IE? I think IE's better if your auto attacks are mainly what's carrying you through crit. I think Navori's better if your abilities. So like Zaya, her feathers are such a big part of her. So Navori, for example. Oh, that's not good. Oh, dude. Emilio, like, his positioning, honestly, has been really bizarre this game as well. If my team, honestly, just stopped feeding and stopped running in to die by themselves, I'm confident I might be able to carry them. But if they keep doing it... Like, look, look Aurelia, she's overextended completely and might die. They just need to stop doing that. Yeah, there's no chance they fed too much in mid lane. And this is the problem if you play a lane phase champion like Aurelia and feed. Ultimately, a lot of the time it's your fault we lose the game. Because she's not scaling well. And she's just made the champions that do scale get there quicker. Oh, well, we played really good though. So if this is our only loss of the day, I'm fine with it. It, was a bit, it would have been just nice to win. Aurelia? I don't understand. Tilted player, I guess. Belbeth can just take over too easily. Game over. I played well. There was only, again, the thing with Ash, obviously, she's a very basic champion and like the more basic a champion is generally the harder it is for them to ultimately carry 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 if someone's in their team is underperforming 
yeah, like for an Ash to try and properly carry this, I think that was probably too far for the champion, to be honest. So, unfortunate. That's our first loss. So that's our six-game win streak come to an end. But we played really good. I'm happy with how we played. I actually did the most damage in the game. So, like, what more can I do? 26,000 damage compared to Tristana's 12,000. Even the Fed Belveth did 23, so I out-damaged her. I out-damaged the Ari. And then my team did 10,000, 8,900, and 8,000. There's not a lot I can do in that situation. <laughs> I tried. I really did. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed, let me just double check if Ash was donated. I don't think it is. No. If you enjoyed it, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And that, by the way, was like the AD carry stuff. I think I'm gonna I'm done, I'm gonna leave it there for the day. I think we did really good. And then tomorrow of me recording this, I am going to play on the main account. And tomorrow we are gonna queue. I don't know if we'll play AD carry on every game, but I'm definitely gonna play AD carry tomorrow on the main account. KGC Taipan, thing I must do for the 25 months with Prime. And obviously, you know, it is worth mentioning the rating difference is definitely there. But I am just feeling quite confident. I think I played quite well. So I think that should translate good even on the main account. But anyway, that's it. If you guys enjoy, throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. I know how to unleash eternal peace.